most horrific singular battle of the Pacific War. Seven straight days of hell. And we just were getting shot to hell. The world just blew up. By 1945, America's Central Pacific Campaign has, for the past three years, been sending soldiers, sailors, and Marines sweeping across the Pacific. They have endured brutal battles against an enemy fortified on nightmarish islands that have fallen one by one to the American forces. ever increasingly violent war has moved them closer and closer to their prime target, the Japanese mainland. Only one island stands to block the way to Japan, Okinawa. It is here, only 365 miles from the doorstep of Japan, that the last great battle of World War II will unfold. The conquest of Okinawa will provide America the critical staging ground for the immense invasion planned to hit the Japanese homeland on November 1st. For Japan, impregnable to attempted invasion for over a thousand years, Okinawa is the last hope against defeat. The island's 100,000 defenders must not only hold it, but inflict such unimaginable horror and violence against the American soldiers and Marines that the United States will lose the stomach for any landing on the Japanese mainland or extension of the war. The Japanese strategy is to simply drown in blood America's will to go on. The staunch defenders have prepared a nightmare for the coming invaders. part of the, uh, the largest naval armada in the history of the war. There were over 1,500 ships involved. And we looked out over the rail of our troop transport as far as the horizon were ships. There were over 40 aircraft carriers involved in the Battle of Elkanawa. That's a lot of aircraft carriers some 18 battleships, 200 destroyers and auxiliary ships, I can't tell you. There were over a 1,000 troop transports in there. 